So, it turns out that the Council's grand plan is to send off a young girl on her own with no help to get the gang back together. So, uh, this is gonna go swimmingly, I'm sure. Great. Solid strategy. I mean, at least they're sending her to get help. Which is something, as you know, we're not gonna help you ourselves, but you, you're free to go and get your own help. You know, it would be nice if he told us where this this mysterious crack is. I mean, there's obviously no need to tell us where, because everyone's already talking about it, so obviously we already know, it's, you know, it's that crack. Like, obviously we know. I assume we're gonna end up going there anyway, so like, I'm, I'm not particularly fast about it. So, uh, along the- b before we get to this crack, uh, you may remember this guy, who wants a blue bird of happiness. Huh. But, uh, now we have a new reason to come talk to him. That reminds me, actually. Like, th th we, we used to have the, the weird gimmick where we would get arbitrary surprise combo finishes by going along with Callus's bullshit. Does Zella also have bullshit that we can go along with? Yes. Is it appreciably different? No, like, it's mechanically identical. This looks like an easy right, but I mean, like, is is the thing that she wants to hear? Like, normally Callus gets, like, trust when we just say, no, fuck these people. Does, does, does Zella actually want to help people? In this case, yes. Yes, we, we gain points with Jella by actually doing things for her. Yeah. See, somebody wants to be a protagonist. Anyway, we're, we're fighting stuff on our own. Have these enemies gotten any... Um, maybe, I guess not. They, uh, they have not. Okay, they're identical. Okay. Well, that's one way to do balance, I guess. I guess I wouldn't be complaining about it, except I guess it would make these fights just feel kind of superfluous in the end. I don't know. Oh well. So hey, I guess it's, among other things, we're gonna go on a big world tour of doing everybody's homework and being everybody's friend. It does make for a very different travel experience than the one Callus took us on. And I mean, fair enough. That's like... I think this is that writing thing that I periodically keep hearing about. It's definitely an example of that. Anyway, sure, let's just absorb that. Sure. I mean, who wouldn't take a dead bluebird with them? I mean... Normal... People? Ah, but remember, we're a, JRP we're a JRPG protagonist now. Yeah, that's fair enough. Anyway, I guess, um... Sure. Well, I mean, I didn't think that was going to resolve so quickly, but... I mean, I'm going to argue that we we actually have plenty of time to think about that if we really had to, but, you know, you do you, Jella. Do you feel what I feel? Strange, isn't it? So I guess we're keeping up the thing of having to basically tell enormous lies in order to get trust up. So at least that remains the same. Let's be cautious. This could be a Yeah, but you know, like like you said, we're we're telling a different kind of lies now. Anyway, so this this is just here then. 
Yep. Okay. Sure. Whatever. This all seems normal. Phew, it's all right. I'm okay. I just felt a little dizzy for a moment. Phew, all right. I'm okay now. Guess I'm just. We survived tired. it. I mean, I'm gonna go out on a limb Doesn't and say like that here. if Let's move if on. this short little walk it made you tired, Jello, we could be in for a long trip. Okay. No one's gonna gonna comment on any of this. Well, who's who would comment? It's just us. They're all totally normal everyday occurrences. Like I don't even know where to begin with this. Like apparently this this thing was like super dangerous, and everyone was talking about how much of a problem it was. Like, I did mm. Anyway, here you go, kid. Have a dead bluebird. Yeah. She absolutely is collecting these. Anyway, I don't know if I should be, like, uh, reassured or particularly afraid of the fact that after all this we're still like a third of the way through that thing. So this guy doesn't like Dubada. That, that, that was the one guy we picked up in the pastry village. And I mean I guess we could lie and tell him that Nubata's not there but Jell is a very bad liar. I mean, I, I, I'm not. I'm still not sure. I particularly get why we, why we would lie. I mean, we're just, we're just a messenger, right? Like, it's all great to be doing stuff, but like, there's, there's only so much of an extent to which we can say that this is our problem. Well, that guy was like, he was like, I'll go back, but not if that guy's there. I hate him. So, you know, it's like, well, he's like, you could tell him that he's not there. I mean, I guess we could have gone with our single-minded pursuit of getting everybody there. Even if we have to lie to do it. But yeah, right, okay, yeah, Jella wouldn't like that. Also, Jella's not very good at lying, and if you try to do it, he's like, you're terrible at lying. He's there, isn't he? And then she's just like, yeah... Well, all right then. Anyway, I, I momentarily forgot that the family tree was like, just scribbled on the back of a card. It's my interpretation and I'm sticking with it. Anyway, speaking of this lovely family, you know, we got a few that are starting to filter in here. Ah. Uh -huh. Man, these kids have dreamed up a real exciting game. Yeah, they're, uh... I don't really have a whole lot to add to that. I think if you talk to one of the... one of the boys, they're like... Oh, well, I'm doing, like, some... I'm doing some bullshit calculus about how the, the radius of this circle or whatever, and... Yeah. I mean, I, I, I get the sense that they're all just doing it because all the rest of them are doing it. None of them actually want to do it, but each of them sees the other three doing it, so they choose to continue doing it. Kind of like the, the fire ant death spiral. Oh, 
Hey, it's that well. But hey, how could we forget our good friend Palolo the Third helped us out so much back way back when? Okay. We'll 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 tell him that when we've talked him down from his little evil spell. I'm sure I'll get over that. And when he does get over that, I'm sure he will definitely care. I mean, Palota the Third's big shot these days. You know, this 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 little city, this is nothing. He's going to Mintaka, baby. I wish him the best. Anyway, can we can we just stroll around wherever now? Is that how this works? Yep, we now have open access to basically everywhere. Fool. Will we like immediately die if we go to the wrong place? I don't think it blocks you from going anywhere, so not really. Although I mean it's probably not a good idea to go back. Uh, I meant more like, are there, like, are there really dangerous enemies in one place and there's like a, a, a really obviously intended route for you to do this, or is it basically just, it's all the stuff you've already killed? No, the, the, the only, I mean, we don't have access to anywhere new yet, so everything that we can go to is all, all the areas we've already been to. So, you know, you could theoretically start in, like, the lava caves and get the Empire's Magnus first, but you know, that that seems like a bad idea when it's just Jella. Yeah. Oh, I mean I guess I, I I can see the logic in this. Like they if they have if they're going with not doing a dramatic surprise rebalancing of all the enemies, then at this point you'll have a pretty good idea of what's where and what you can handle with only one character, so I guess that's fair enough. Anyway, this is all still here, huh? Yeah, so, uh, after that first little fake-out, as it were, uh, all the rest of the dimensional cracks are locked, and we will need a specific Magnus in order to get inside. It's, uh, it's always something that's found nearby, so it's, you know, it's never particularly hard, but, you know, it's not fun to get there, especially in a situation like Diadems, where it's like, okay, so now you have to go all the way up through the castle, through the secret entrance, go to the Shrine of Wind, find out that, oops, you don't have the thing you need, and then go all the way back through the castle, back through the town, and come down here to get it, and then go all the way back through the fucking castle again. Yeah, that's video games. That's that sweet 2003 JRPG game design that I've been missing all this time. So anyway, I guess the, the interdimensional cracks are just like... I... I... I'd be lying if I was particularly sure about what even was the deal with them being here now, like, I, I, hmm. Also, that's a real iffy hint. I mean, there's only so many things that could be on Diadem, so... I mean, fair enough. I mean, besides, only five years after this, Tales of Vesperian would come out and absolutely confuse the shit out of everybody with the bright sky sphere hint. Still have nightmares about that one. Anyway, this is new. Yeah. The, uh... This is... The last one didn't have a boss on it. There is, there is nothing to say about this guy, um, as you can probably guess from the fact that he is intended to be fought by Jella by herself, he's kind of a joke. I want to say he has like, maybe 2000 HP total. And 
there's there's like an attempt at a baseline going on in this in this battle track. That's pretty much the only observation I have. So every time I hear this song, it like I get reminded of the uh, the Woodfall Temple music from Majora's Mask. I was I was thing I was feeling something from Sonic Adventure. Like like you know the Mystic Ruins or Lost World or something like that. One of those kinds of a deal. But no, I I can I can. I can see sir. I can see certain Zelda comparisons as well. That's valid. Anyway, yeah, wow, you weren't kidding. There's like barely anything happening here. They get marginally harder as we go. I mean I would hope so. Like, these, these guys are always fought in order. No matter which party member you go to first, uh, you will always get the same order of bosses. So it's not like... Ah. Actual active balancing. I don't know if I've commented on it on it before, but like, she seriously just yells magic as a as a calling your attack. I mean, can you say it's okay, wrong? Let's move on. Like, it isn't wrong, but I just feel like it's a, approximately, uh, I mean, maybe marginally more appropriate than yelling stealth. Oh, well, this is new. Phew. Thanks, Shola. Of course, with a little elbow grease, I could have broken out of here myself. <laughs> I know. Sure thing, man. So, how are things going on the outside? I mean, how bad is it? Oh, it's completely fucked. They're hanging on somehow. Keeping the enemy at bay. No, no, Fidel. We 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 keep. This is a Zella well, playthrough no now, and we are going to keep some positivity happening. The world. Right. It's not completely fucked yet. Thank you. So, like that first one somehow makes even less sense now. Like, what, what even are we supposed to suspect was the deal with that? Uh, the idea, I, I think, is that, you know, given where everybody is, that is, theoretically, where, you know, in a different game, where we were still controlling Callus, that would have been where we found Jella. Yeah, but... Mm. That's ominous. Yeah, say so if you poke around, a lot of these people actually do have dialogue for Callus not being there anymore. Uh huh. And also, he now has hints for where we can find constellations if we were so inclined. I mean, that's entirely reasonable. That's that's like the thing that we should expect from this kind of system. Every every one of these systems should eventually kind of turn into a guide to itself. Eventually, that's just like a rule. But it's not actually a rule. It's just a thing that you that becomes very very apparent once you do enough of these things. I mean, very implicit, really. Okay, that was number twenty one, I think. So we're. We're about halfway done. I mean, checks out. Uh 
Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's very... I mean, okay, it's not that specific. It's, oh, found something that could be a star fragment. But, like, we know based on, on hearing about her finding something that it's... Like, really? Well, whatever. Anyway, that's a promotion. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Gibari might even be useful now. I mean, was he not useful before? I mean, he was... He does lag behind the rest of the party, in a way. Oh well. I guess we're just continuing in this vein for the next couple of videos then.